everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back again to give you guys another news update. The Star Wars The Black Series team took to the YouTube Hasbro Pulse channel today to talk about all kinds of new Star Wars The Black Series and Star Wars The Vintage Collection. They did go over the whole pre-order debacle. They didn't mention any names, but I think we all know what they're getting at right there. Rest assured, they have been hearing fans, and they have been talking about it, and it's hopefully a situation that can be course-corrected at some point. Because, yes, for people that do like their stuff all minty fresh, they should be able to get it like that. And also, if you want to pre-order it and not venture into certain unquote-unquote stores, you know what I mean, the blue ones, <laughs> then, yeah, you should be able to get it offline and have it go through without having to have it cancel and then reorder and yada yada. You're probably all fully aware but yes they addressed it so thanks for at least addressing it let's hope we can see some changes but yes patrick from marketing and eric from design again two of the guys that talk about all this crazy star wars stuff so going over the vintage collection first they reiterated that they're going after the original 96 star wars figures so that is re-energized being re-implemented and they're going to start it off today with the brand new ATST driver. Again, this is in the 3.75 inch line. All kinds of new deco, couple new sculpts, you know, it's just fresh articulation, all that jazzy jazz that you guys love. And then Paplu, <laughs> the happy little Ewok that'll murder you with little sticks and rocks. He's coming, comes with a new hood and more updated new weapons for the little guys. So he's adorable. Look at him, he's just looking at you, ready to. Bite your face off. Jedi Leia Endor edition, right? The whole Endor Leia. I always get confused now with the recent movie that we won't speak of. This is just Endor Leia. We'll just say that. New face on her. They even went back and re-examined the poncho, they said. So you got a new poncho. New poncho. There you go. That's uh, amazing. And just an FYI, these will be all Walmart exclusives. They will hit spring 2021. There are no pre-orders slated for these. Pre-orders will exist kind of sort of here and there for these, perhaps later on, not necessarily today like they're usually known for. But if they are available, I have links in the description below where applicable. Next up is the Clone Wars figures. Coming out of season seven, we will get a brand new Ahsoka Tano. She will come with her dual lightsabers and has updated articulation, ankle rocker, and all that good stuff. Next up, Darth Maul with his little robo legs. Again, season seven, perfect addition to fight Ahsoka Tano. So he does look good they actually they said they lengthened the face it's kind of a hybrid between the cartoon and the movie to really kind of capture both of the same time as long as it looks good hey we're all totally fine these vintage collection figures will be available at most major retailers and these should be up for pre-order sometime today usually they say about 1 p.m eastern but sometime today that's that's what i like to go off of and rest assured links will be in the description below moving on to star wars the black series these were revealed the previous night these are all amazon exclusives and they harken back to the kenner era right they got little kenner colors going on so we got a look at the jawa figure i do wish i'm sure it's a logistical issue it's probably not as easy as it sounds but i would hope that they would figure this out i would have liked to have seen a vinyl cape on the jawa we'll see that obi-wan has it in just a second you could do that. I know, you know, there's probably things in Toyetics and all that kind of stuff that I'm not fully aware of, but yeah, I can't figure it out. Come on. He looks okay, but to be honest with you, a vinyl cape would have been totally better. I do like the Greedo, though. I think that that's cool. Kenner collection style colors, green, no vest, all that kind of stuff. He's wild. He's one of the only characters of these three that you can, like, actually have as a new character, so to speak. You know what I mean? So, yeah. He does look good. Nice deco, nice green. Totally Greedo. And then, of course, Obi-Wan, Kenner Colors. He comes with a vinyl cape, and he comes with his lightsaber, and he looks awesome. He looks fantastic. I, yeah, I'll be, I'll be picking up a few of these. Just FYI, I like the colors on the Kenner stuff. It's old school they're hitting that nostalgia button so home run i think on at least obi-wan and greedo and then going on continuing the lucasfilm 50th this will be on products for 
all of 2021. They're going back to Star Wars Episode One. They're going to do a few more of these retro cards, six-inch figures. First up is the Battle Droid. They actually joke there will be no ComTech included, unfortunately. They didn't specify if there will be four Battle Droids, like the original release. Remember that? I remember digging all through those Toys R Us bins trying to find that god dang fourth one. I think it was the like a little blast effects, like the silver blast. Anyways, so they didn't specify, but we are getting a Battle Droid. And then, of course, followed by Mace Windu himself, Samuel L. Jackson. He'll be getting a re-release. He looks all kinds of good. Qui-Gon Jinn also will be getting a re-release. Now, they did say that the face printing tech that they use was not holding up. So they went back and re-sculpted Qui-Gon's face to better fit that tech. So that's cool. I'm glad they did that. He does look a little bit more spiffy, a little cleaner than the original release. And then finally, Jar Jar Binks, once again, he's on shelves now, but if you want him in this special packaging, these are all Best Buy exclusives. They will be available later today for pre-order, and they'll be hitting stores in 2021 spring. Jar Jar Binks, man. <laughs> and then moving on into the Bad Batch. Now, this carries on more into Star Wars The Black Series. They already showed off some members of the Bad Batch, but this just kind of shows you the boxed versions of them. So they're all spiffy in box, and they're coming out very very shortly but then they had a new reveal this is actually kind of cool this is the elite squad trooper from the bad batch and he will be available sometime later this i think around like the spring area so think about uh that in and around that time they didn't really specify but when these other bad batch figures start to hit you'll start to see this guy that like really wraps it up for the whole yeah what's coming out kind of thing with products so you can actually show off they started this new pipeline reveals segment now these aren't figures that they have finished but they're kind of gauging fan perception which is cool but i do hope that they release every single one of these figures because to be quite honest with you this was more engaging and more like oh okay i'm ready for those than most of the products that they showed off today that's just my honest answer but the first one up from the bad batch will be tech and again, these will all be coming later on at some point, either at the end of 2021 or maybe into 2022. Then Aura Singh, that's pretty cool. I'm stoked, get another bounty hunter in there and that's pretty cool. Then we will be seeing Ciro. Now he's the droid from the Mandalorian. That's cool. Again, anything Mando, I'm totally down. Casca Reeves, AKA Sasha Banks. The Night Owls from that one particular awesome, ep well, two awesome episodes, but you know the main one where they storm that that ship. That was a friggin' rad episode, so she'll be getting an action figure. And then General Lando Calrissian, so that's pretty cool. I like that. In the Vintage Collection, we'll be getting a IG-11, and then look at all fly. This is the Empire Strikes Back Lando Calrissian. So difference there between Vintage Collection and the Star Wars Black Series, just FYI. But again, all of these coming at some point later in the year or into 2022. That's really going to wrap it up for today. That's all the reveals. That's what they talked about. It was an okay. I, I mean, I'm glad they have new Star Wars products. I'm more into the Mando stuff at the moment. That's just what I like to see. The whole pipeline thing, I'm really digging that. I want, like, all those characters. So, Aura Singh, Ciro, those are, those are on my want list. The whole redos, the Kenner stuff is okay. The, you know, the Phantom, it's, it's just all okay. I really wish that we were getting a ton of new figures, to be quite honest with you. But I am curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Star Wars. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, do you think we'll ever get Hasbro Kenner re-releases later down the road instead of just Kenner re-releases, right? Decos, repaints. I don't know. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.